Hi guys, it's Sarah and welcome to Books for Tea. Today I want to talk about the Booktube Recommends project. This project was started by Rachel over at The Shades of Orange and I first saw it at Just Channel from Scribbles Reads. So I'm really really excited to join this project and I actually changed it up a little bit because for me it's gonna be Booktube and Bookstagram Recommends. So what this project is about is that you take 12 of your favorite booktubers and in my case also bookstagrammers and ask each of them to recommend you one book. And then you put all these 12 recommendations in a little TBR jar and each month you read one of them. Um, and so over the course of a year you will I read 12 books which were all recommended to you by some other bookworms and I just thought that this project was really really awesome and I really want to do it so yeah let's just get started. Also just a quick disclaimer all the people I mentioned in this video are gonna be linked down in the description so check them out because I really love them all. The first person I asked was Joss over at Scribbles Reads and she recommended me to read I Hunt Killers by Barry Lidger. So this book is about a boy who's actually the son of a famous serial killer and he already witnessed tons of crimes. Um, I'm not sure if he committed some himself but basically he joins the police to sort of clear his consciousness I think. Um, and he tries to help the police from now on to actually hunt killers. And it sounds pretty awesome. Um, I don't think it's something I would usually pick up, but if Joss really enjoys it, I'm sure that I will love it too. And I'm really excited to read it and sort of read something that's a bit out of my comfort zone. Next on, I asked Amelia over at Amelia Xavier, and she recommended me to read Carry On by Rainbow Rowell. Now, Amelia raves about this book on her channel a lot <laughs> and of course some other booktubers do too. Many many people really love this book and I actually have it here, it's on my TBR and I still haven't read it yet so that's definitely gonna change and I'm really excited to read it. Next on I got recommended All the Light We Cannot See by Anthony Durr and this recommendation came from Noor over at Bookish Noor. And I really love her channel. I always love that she talks about so many different books and I know that she is really into historical fiction. So I guess this book re recommendation shouldn't have come as a surprise. Now I actually started reading this book back in October I think um, and I DNF'd it because I couldn't really get into it. But I'm really hoping that later this year when I have lots of time to read I will be able to just pick it back up again and maybe read it this time because she said it's really really awesome and I've heard many people who really loved it so I think I totally want to give it another chance. Um, and yeah I'm pretty excited to read it. The next recommendation comes from Charlie over at Charlie Book Fanatic and it is Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe by Benjamin Alir Sané. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, and I am super super excited to read this book. I have owned it for so long. I've been wanting to read it for even longer. I know that I will love this book when I read it. Um, and actually I decided to read this one in January. Um, I'm not gonna pick one randomly because I feel like this is the shortest one. I can hopefully get to I can hopefully get through it in one or two days. Um, I don't have that much time to read in January so I wanted to pick a short book. I'm sure that I will get through fast and know that I will love. So this one is definitely on my January TBR and I am so so glad that Charlie recommended it for me. The next recommendation comes from Gabby over at Gaps About Books and it is The Unbecoming of Mara Dyer by Michelle Hopkin and when I joined Bookstagram almost two years ago now, this book was all over the place. I know that many people still really really love it and I am so sad that I haven't read it yet so now I finally have a really good reason to pick it up and read it and I'm super excited to do so because I've just heard so many good things about it. 
I know that's a very creepy read and I'm looking forward to it. Next on I asked Sinem over at Magical Multifandom and she recommended me to read Obsidian by Jennifer L. Armentrout. Now I don't know a lot about this book, I know that it's um, a series, deluxe series, I know that it has to do with aliens and I know that the female protagonist has a book blog. So I am very intrigued to read it. I've been wanting to read it for a while. I haven't read that many alien books, but I am getting really into sci-fi at the moment. So I'm really excited to read it. And yeah, I'm just really happy. And then next one I asked Keisei over at Books K and she recommended me Akane A by Lynette Noni. Um, I've never heard of this book before, but she said that it's one of her favorites, so I really want to read it. It is actually the first in the series, called the Majoran Chronicles. I know that it is set at some kind of academy that uh, turns out to be a bit of a magic academy, but that's pretty much all I know from it. Um, and I'm really excited because Keisei loves it and I hope that I will too. Now let's move on to the bookstagrammers I asked. Um, I have four whose accounts I really really love and I'm gonna, as I did with the booktubers, I'm gonna leave their accounts below so that you can check them out. And the first one I asked was Michelle over at Madame Reads A Lot who has really gorgeous pictures. She recommended me to read The Winner's Curse by Marie Rutzkowski. And I'm pretty excited to read it. All I know is that it's the first in a fantasy trilogy. Um, and I'm really not sure what it's about. I know that it's very political, um, but that many people really enjoy that. And I want to read more fantasy, so I'm excited to see how I like this one. And then the next person I asked me to recommend a book was my friend Wada over at iReads. And... Um, I knew that she was going to recommend me this book. I totally saw it coming. And the book she recommended for me was I Give You the Sun by Jenny Nelson. As you can see, I already own this book and I actually bought it in summer because she kept talking about it because it's her favorite book. And I was like, oh my God, you talk about it so much. I need to read it. And I bought it, but I never read it. I'm so awful at that. I always buy books and don't read them. But this book, guys, this book looks so cool. Um, and I'm so happy to finally get to it. Also, look. Can you see that? It has the little Shakespeare and Company um, sticker. Because I bought it while I was in Paris. So, even cooler now. The next recommendation I got from my friend Niels, who has a German bookstagram account called Bunte Schwarz Weißwelt. And he recommended me to read Fire and Flood by Victoria Scott and I also don't know much about this one. I know that it's a bit fantasy or maybe a bit dystopian and I have seen it was a little bit compared to The Hunger Games um, which is great. I really 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 love The Hunger Games and yeah I'm just excited to read it really. I'm sorry that I don't know so much about all these books and can't really tell you what they're all about but um, I like to go into them a bit blind and not know too much about them, so that's why I do that. The next recommendation came from Sarah and New Leaf Writer, and she recommended me to read The Song of Achilles by Madeline Miller. Um, all I know about this is that it's set in ancient Greece, um, and so it deals with Greek mythology, which is really cool. That's obviously about Achilles, who I believe falls in love with another man because this book has lots of LGBTQ plus um, themes and I'm very excited about it because I think that it sounds really awesome and I'm sure that I will love it even though I probably wouldn't ever have picked it up if it wouldn't really have been recommended to me like this so I'm super super excited to read this book the next recommendation came from Liz at the bookstagram account Liz Stepperfuss and I am super excited to read the book that she recommended for me, which is Wishes by Uwe e. Schwab. I read A Darker Shade of Magic in December and I absolutely loved it, so I totally want to read more Uwe e. Schwab, which is why this just comes at a great time. 
Now those are all the books that were recommended to me. As I already said, I have this little TBR jar thingy where all the books are in right now and I picked one for January. I'm going to read this beautiful book in January but for all the other moms I'm gonna randomly pick one of these out whenever I do my TBR and I'm super super excited. I hope that I will love all the books. I hope that you will enjoy seeing me talk about these books and yeah and yeah I just hope that you enjoyed this video. Leave me a comment with what book you really want to read in 2016 or a comment on which you recommend a book to me. That would be really cool too. Um, yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. I will hopefully see you again very soon. So, goodbye! Aristotle... 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 Marie Rok... By Marie Rotowski. Rutkowski. And she recommended me to read The Winner's Curse by Marie Rutsk. <laughs> and um, it's about the Greek hero. It's about the Greek hero. 